Alrighty guys, I wanted to show you guys both the setups for the day. Hopefully I can teach you guys something or educate you guys in some way. Help you guys understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I have a 7 foot medium Fenwick Elite inshore right here with a 2500 pen slammer. Uh, this setup has 20 pound braid to 30 pound mono leader with a NLBN mini mullet right here. This is going to be like my go to inshore. This can catch just about anything and it can catch anything pretty good from big snook, reds, tarpon, trout to small reds and, and smaller fish as well. It's going to be the, the bait that gets a lot of bites today, honestly. Uh, but this is going to be like my finesse setup. It's got a weighted it's, got a, it's weighted so it'll sink a little bit and uh, I can work it under docks, under mangroves, let it sink down. It's just going to be the bait that's going to help me find fish and uh, it's going to be like, I'm probably going to throw it 75% of the time and then maybe the other 25% of the time I got kind of my bigger, medium, heavier setup here. This is actually a medium 7.6 Fenwick World Class. I have it on a 3500 Pen Authority and a NLBN low mullet here. This is the bigger version of the, the, of the mini mullet, essentially. It's the middle size. They have three different sizes, but this is about five and a half inches. This is going to help me catch a bigger fish. If I see some bigger snooks sitting under a mangrove or a dock, I'm probably gonna go with the bigger bait there. Uh, it's just gonna be a little bit more fit for those size fish. I don't know if I'll throw this today. If I get the right opportunity, I will. It's gonna be that better setup for bigger fish. Now, that being said, hopefully I find the big fish. I don't know, we'll have to fish and find out. Uh, but I'll probably go back and forth between both of these setups today, uh, working docks, mangroves, the normal thing. We're gonna try to catch you some good fish and hopefully at least one truly big fish today. So, wind's starting to pick up here. I gotta kinda move out and away from it into the mangroves and docks. Uh, but that's the setup if you guys have any questions down below. Oh, this is 40 pound mono as well on this leader. It's a little heavier, so that too is a good reason for bigger fish. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, go down in the comments, leave them, and I'll answer them. Uh, but that's the setups. Let's get to fishing. Hope you guys enjoy the video today. Let's knock out some good, good quality fish. A couple big snook laid up right here. Oh, no way! Get out! Oh, that's a big snook. That's a big snook. I gotta pull him out. I gotta pull him out. He's stuck up in the tree. He literally smoked out the second it hit the water. He's stuck up in the tree. I'm gonna have to put the heat on him if I can get him from touching. Oh, well, he's rubbing against the tree right now. I gotta try to get him to not do that. This is why I said I had the bigger leader on. Let's see if I can wiggle him through here. He's way back up in there. He ate that the second it hit the water. That was no joke. I gotta get out here. This is tough. He's wrapped around something. I just don't want him to take off and break me off. He's fully wrapped on something. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Might be able to just grab him. It's a nice fish. He just, he wrapped me instantly on something. I'm gonna try to open the bale here. This is just super unfortunate. He ate way up in there. Crazy. This fish is right here, literally right under. There's so much snook up in there. This is a tough thing. This thing ate the murder mullet as well. He didn't eat the mini. Oh, I might've got him right here. He ate the mini, he ate the bigger bait, which is interesting. All right, swim out behind me. Let me see if I can figure out what he's wrapped on. Check this out. This is what he was wrapped on right here. See how sharp that is? I don't even know how many. Oh, there we go. Okay, this might work now. All right, this fish is out here now. Oh, come on, come on. What a mess. 
What a mess. That took, that took about probably two, three minutes almost to get this guy out from there. <laughs> Got him. Smoked. Yeah, that's my murder mullet right there. That's crazy. That was like the second cast I took of this, took with this today. And I got a fish to smoke it. Good fish. Good fish. That just took way too long <laughs> to get this fish out of the trees. Like I said, two to three minutes there. Whew. There you go, buddy. We're all good. It was just wrapped around roots that were growing from basically the top of the tree down into the sand, which made it impossible for me to stick my rod under it. But beautiful fish there. I mean, nice fish. He is about probably 27, probably 27, maybe just under slot, but beauty. We'll send him right back in the trees where he came from. There is actually about five or six fish, I would have to guess, up in that pocket. And when the lure skipped back up there, it was an instant boom and got it. But there we go. We knocked out the first fish of the day here. A little late in the day. It has been incredibly dry thus far. We just finally came across a couple fish and I made something happen. But there you have it. A lot of people ask about this bait. It is the uh, it is the murder mullet color. This is technically the little mullet, but these guys will return sometime in October. I'll let you guys know. We're going to kind of be restocking these. You guys are going to get a chance at them again. But all right, I'm going to get back in the boat here. We'll keep fishing. That was a good first fish. It was just a mess, an absolute mess there. There we go. That worked. Oh, nice snook right here. Nice snook. Oh no, that was it, that was it. Oh, oh, there's a red. Oh, that was it, that was about a 28 incher, probably came zooming up right up on it there. Put its put its nose right up on it, just didn't commit. Makes me wonder, he was a decent sized snook, maybe I wonder if the murder mullet, the oh, little mullet, uh, would have gotten him to eat, I don't know. He, he kinda got a good look at it too. He shot up on it hard, he should have really blown up like right 10 feet out in front of the boat and he didn't. Maybe he saw me or something, who knows. Oh, too nice snook right here. So there it is, there's a nice one. There it is, oh no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, he stole the bait. Came off the hook and stole the bait. Oh, dude, come on now. That was like, uh, there were two fish right there. The first one was a little one and popped it. And I guess the little one popping it kind of got the bigger one excited. I don't know how you didn't get the hook there. I felt like so, like I felt like I got tight on him. He just slipped the hook there. And the bigger one came up behind it once the little one started to eat. So, ugh. And grab another bait here. That was close. That was like a nice, probably 24, 25 inch snook. Just slapped it. Slapped it. Actually, I guess he technically came up behind it and just inhaled it, but I could see him under it, chasing it left, right, left, right as I was twitching it. Just got the best of me there. Go ahead and rig a new mini mullet on. Just like that, these twist lock hooks work pretty good. Sell these hooks, of course, on NLBN's website, nlbn.com. And this reminds me, I gotta retie my leader after that one. He frayed me up pretty good. So let me cut it, cut it, retie it with a loop knot, keep fishing. All right, just in case anyone was wondering, that snook did get the bait off the hook, but the good thing about these NLBN baits is they do float. So he knocked it off the hook there, and I'm able to grab it. He had it in his mouth, so he definitely, <laughs> he came down with it and spit it out. But we got it back in the boat there. That's good. I don't want to leave that floating around in the water. But all right, onward. Still with the same color here. I really like this one. Oh, there's a snook under there. Just missed the hook set. Oh, oh there's one. There's a bunch under there. There it is. Smoke that one. Oh, and I lost them, man. What is the deal? These little ones. You know what I'm saying in the last video? They're good at wiggling. They're good at wiggling right off. <laughs> All those head shakes. They got thin little lips. And really when they head shake too, you can kind of wear out their lip and wear the hole bigger that you made with your hook. That's how they get off a lot of the times. We'll go back in there though. 
Oh, there's Snook lined up right here. Oh, two reds right here. Or no, a Snook and a red chasing after it. That's crazy. Oh, that was a red. Oh, God, they are loaded right here. Reds and Snook chasing after the mini right on the corner. Let's see if I work a little slower. All right, there's a bunch of fish just chasing the mini right here. Redfish and Snook, they just didn't really get it. Oh, there it is. There's one. There is, they're just stacked up under this tree. Under this mangrove. There's a redfish in there too somewhere. I know he's up under the mangroves because I saw him follow it out and just swoop on it, but just like turned away from it. Let's see if I can get my hands on this guy. These snook are so good at getting off the hook, especially right at the boat there. These guys are just loaded in the trees. He's a little snook. It's pretty good to see. I love that. Really do love and love when there's just <laughs> there he goes loads of snook up under the trees. I don't care what size they are, I'll take it. It's just a good thing to see. Let's go back right up under that tree there. I know there's more. Let's see where this red is. Oh, instant, all over it. crazy how many are under there you probably can't see that good through the camera but it's like every cast they're just doom 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 coming up out of there oh you guys heard that one i know you heard that one that is the best sound in fishing right there one of my favorite ways to work either a little mullet or mini mullet is just skidding it across the surface letting it Letting it kind of just do its thing. Get retied here. Just skidding across the water, letting it kind of do its thing, and letting the snook come up and just bash it. Sometimes that is the best way to fish it. And that's what I just did right there. Oh, oh, oh man, that was a snook came up out of nowhere. Come on. Came up and just like got the back end of it, but didn't get the whole thing. Come on, hit it again. Uh, of course he won't, man. They're starting to like wake up a little bit. I don't know. It's like getting a lot of bites in like the last hour when I wasn't finding much of anything in the morning. Oh, they're in there. Hit it again, hit it again. Those guys are about 20 inches, but that's super fun. I'm gonna try a different color here, see if it triggers some better bites. A lot of them are just like hitting it, but just not inhaling it. It's this twisted T right here should work pretty good. Snuck all over it. They like this little spot. I get one. There's one. Finally got one. Tripped one of these little guys. There it is. They're just like sitting under the tree there. Everything that goes by, they are just smashing. And they like this for sure because I had <laughs> at least <laughs> oh, jumped right in the bow. <laughs> 10 big bites on them. They're just popping it and swinging on it, swinging on it. This guy's probably only, I don't know, 18 inches, but man, when they get fired up on a mini, that is some of the most fun fishing, I swear. Having them come up and just slam it, slam it, slam it. All right, little guy. Back in the water. Oh, he's biting on my thumb. There it is. We're finding some fish. Not huge, unfortunately, but... I'll take it when they're smashing it. It's just, it is the best, man. When they're eating good, it is the best. Let's see if maybe we can pull one more out of there. 
Oh, dang, man. They are thick. I think they're really feeding good on glass minnows, and that's what's keeping them right here. Oh, dude. Instinct, man. Instinct. Dang, the mini mullet chew is on. This is, I mean, well, also one of the reasons I like these minis because for some of the smaller fish, you could just have an absolute blast. Let's see if I can get this guy to the boat. About the same size, just stacks of like 18 inches under the trees. I mean, crazy how good they're eating. This guy got that deep too. Check that out all the way in the back of his mouth there. Hit it the second it hit the water. Like it skipped back there and stopped. They hit it. Seems like fish really like that when something's skipping and just, it's like they hear that skip coming in on them and boom, they smash it. Pop that out of his mouth. And hey, another little snook there, but crushing them. <laughs> crushing them. That is so much fun. Oh, there's a nice fish there. Stacked up under the trees right now. Oh my gosh. Crushing. Crushing it. They're not huge, but man, those blow ups are so addicting. You can catch me doing this all day long. <laughs> all day long. I actually just threw on a different color because the uh, Twisted Tea color I was using was absolutely beat up from all the other snook. Throw on a little bit lighter color here. Let me just splash the camera. Oh, swing them in here. Dude, just killing them. Absolutely smoking them. Let's see if we can just pop this out of this guy's mouth. A little snook, but man, are they eating so well. Ooh, these little 18, 18 inches are just bam, bam, bam under the trees. So this is the color I was using right here, like a sandy color. Well, we kind of put the hurting on the small snook there for a little bit with the mini. Uh, we're going to keep fishing here. I think I'm going to uh, fish for, probably fish this area for a few more minutes. Maybe see if I can grab one more. And then we're going to make a move to try to find a bigger snook. We just haven't, haven't really seen anything over, I don't know, 25 inches today. Besides the one we caught, that, that was the biggest one I've truly seen today. So we're not doing half bad for what's out and about. But I think we can still find one more good snook today. At least one bigger than the one I caught earlier. School of Reds right here. <laughs> there it is. There it is. School of Reds, about four or five. I, I hope you guys could see that. You should have seen it clear as day. That fish came up right there and just looked at it and inhaled it. Dude, there's Reds all around me. Oh my gosh, there's like actually a lot more than three or four. There's one right there, if you guys can see that. Obviously the one on my hook. That's a good fish too. It's like a football. That literally happened like right under the boat. Right under the boat. Oh, this guy's not happy. It's a little guy, not a huge one. Maybe, probably, if I had to guess here, 18 inches. We'll put him on the ruler. He is actually uh, 20 inches. Not as small as I thought. Pop this hook out. Oh, that was easy. And uh, looks like my uh, mini mullet's still sitting there on the line, so we'll have to get that and get it re-rigged. There he goes, quick and easy. I really hope you guys could see that as well as I could, because I mean that fish, <laughs> two of them actually came up and looked at it, and that one I guess came from the bottom and just soop, sipped it up. I really didn't even have to move it, kind of interesting. I wonder if the other fish looking at the bait kind of caught its attention. But there we go, there's a red, finally. They've been a little picky today. I've seen good amount today they've just been like i said real picky but we'll get this re-rigged here and keep looking i'm gonna go back to a darker color here i'm pretty sure this color is whiskey sour limited batch color here let me get it rigged up through the nose and then texas rig you know through the back just like that perfect perfect let's keep going i gotta find my beat a decent snook decent one come on Oh, here comes that big school of reds again, like 10 of them right here. I'm going to cast way out in front of them. They're coming right down the line right here. There's 
Yeah, about 10. Oh, there's so much fish right here. Come on. One's on it. One's on it. Two on it. Oh, there we go. We got one. There we go. Like literally 10 of these reds just moving down the shoreline. I knew one was bound to get it. Three of them were boom, 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 coming up on it. Sick. Okay. I mean, it's one of those days we're in the quantity, quantity type of day versus the quality. I wish we could find some bigger ones, but I'll take what I can get. There's another one. Another one. Here you go, buddy. These reds are not happy today. They are not having it. Cute little guy. Bright blue tail. Means he's probably been eating some uh, shrimp. And uh, check this guy out. Let's see if I can pop him off real quick. He's about the same size as the last one, probably 18 inches, but I'm gonna go ahead and just come on. Running into sticks right now. It's about to shoot out of my hands. Put him back in the water. It's just a quantity type of day, I guess. Catch them good. I think we've got five or six snook and two reds now. I'm feeling like a decent snook though. I'm feeling like it's coming. I'm feeling like it's coming. Oh, nice fish. Came out of there and just smoked it. There we go. Out from the mangroves. Under there in the shade. I knew it. Oh, and he pulled right there. No way. He swam right at me and I felt that like the... <laughs> ah! I've been, I deserve that. I deserve that for how much fishing I've done today. I felt him turn and swim right at me and it was like the real, like me trying to catch up with the line until it was, it, it, I felt him like that was it right there. There's another snook right here though. Ah, so close, man, so close. Snook came up and ate it right there. Another one right here as well. Oh, and one under the tree. They're stacked. There it is. There it is. Oh, come on. This one. Stick with me, man. Stick with me. There's probably five under that tree right there. See if I can keep this one on. They've been working me lately. I'm not going to lie. They've been absolutely <laughs> working me. And uh, what I mean by that is they've been getting off. They have been wiggling and jumping and all that sort of stuff lately but here goes another one another good one all right guys another decent fish on the day not a not a monster or anything but probably a 22 20 somewhere in there good fish there just cranking the mini today i mean really cranking it and uh, it's just an absolute blast for snook like this to come up and smack that bait it's so much fun so much fun it's probably one of my favorite things to do in fishing is uh Little mullets, mini mullets for snook. All right, we're gonna pop this thing out. They're starting to chew. I don't know if the weather warmed up, but the difference between like midday and this morning, <laughs> huge difference, huge difference. Spin them around here. And there you go, bud. Oh, all right. Well, another solid, solid day on the water today. We caught a lot of fish and honestly it was a really good day i just really wish that we would have found one big fish it didn't happen but that's just fishing uh, i wish we kept a few of those fish on the hook and were able to get a hold of them but it didn't happen that's just fishing we did catch a lot of fish though had some cool eats got a little bit of redfish a little bit of snook uh, i got that that one decent snook right off the bat well not right off the bat but first fish in the morning was that decent one and uh really just didn't connect with another one that size till like 15 minutes ago and uh it was just a little bit sporadic today and that's that's how sometimes fishing goes honestly but i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to check out of course the lures i used in today's video you guys can find them on nlbn.com uh we will be doing a murder mullet drop soon so keep an eye out for that murder mullet is my personal jm uh nlbn color uh, so we'll be doing a limited batch drop soon, but keep an eye out for that. Make sure to follow myself over on Instagram, Justin underscore Menendez and follow NLBN dot or NLBN 
as well. They are uh, at no live bait needed. So yeah, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I've been out here a, lot, a while. It was a grind today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be ready for the next video. I'm pumping them out. Let's go guys. I'll see you guys in that next video.